I just thought I'd take this opportunity as I have a very, very dead C64 here. It's got the um, awful, awful, awful MT RAM, uh, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, what I wanted to say was that we've had a few people recently, um, or I've, I've seen a few issues on e uh, on Facebook and on the groups, with regard to the dead test cart not actually doing anything. Now, the, there's a couple of reasons why. Um, first of all, you have to have a, a working PLA and a working CPU at least uh, for these to go, uh, for these to work. So, I mean, if your CP, if your PLA is dead, uh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna set up the memory map because the dead test cart uses the um, Ultimax mode, which basically bypasses uh, the kernel and all the other ROMs that you've got here. Um, it bypasses all of that in order to work. Uh, in order to work properly so I mean they, it, it takes these out of the equation which is a good thing so you do need a working CPU if we've got here and a working PLA what I wanted to show you was um, how uh, in this particular uh, instance I've taken out the SIP but in this particular instance we've got a dead CPU which is causing the problem so what I'm going to do to power it up I'm just going to put the dead test cart in now with a dead test cart you need to wait around about 10, 10 seconds after you turn it on uh, to for it to come up or to start flashing straight away. Uh, let me just turn my power supply off. <laughs> so I'm going to switch the uh, 64 on, and we've just got a black screen. So we'll wait 10 seconds. <laughs> Nothing happening. Nothing happening at all. What the dead test cartridge does is it, the first thing when it, when it kicks in is it does a, it does a memory test um, and it will flash, uh, if there's any problems with the memory it will flash that uh, there's an error with it. So um, as we've got nothing there and I'm pretty sure the PLA is okay, I'm just going to swap the uh, CPU over. There we go, CPU swapped over. So let's see what happens when we now power it up. There you go. That's instantly telling me that there's a problem with the RAM. And as we've got this horrible MT RAM in there, that doesn't surprise me. What I am going to do, though, is I'm sure I've shown you this in other videos. So if I remove the dead test cartridge and now power it up, we get the magic. Ooh, out of memory error in zero. And there we go. The MT RAM seems to be the only RAM, or the only RAM I've come across, which actually causes that error. And you can fix it by piggybacking. Um, so I've already spoken to the owner of this 64 and um, he's agreed that I can swap the RAM over and do some other bits and pieces for him. Um, what I will do is when it's repaired, I'm going to swap all the RAM out. I'm going to just take the MT RAM out because it's just going to go pop at some point. Um, when, it's, when it's repaired, um, as all these are socketed, I'm going to take the opportunity just to remove all of these and see if the dead test cart literally just works with a PLA and uh, a CPU and obviously the VIC chips generate the display. So the 240, uh, the 240 MT RAM chips have been replaced and the system's now powering up. I've tested it with the uh, kernel and the CIAs and everything in. But what I wanted to show you here was how you don't have to have any of these chips, so the CIAs, the kernel, the character, all the basic in order to make this the system power up with the dead test car. So if you've got one that's being a real pain in the arse and <clears throat> doesn't seem to, doesn't want to power up or doesn't want to do anything, if you've got one of these carts, always a good idea to take these out if you can, if they're socketed or if you're really, you know, at your wits end, just desolder these carefully and just take them out because you don't need them with the dead test car uh, to make it go. So, going to power it up. So we've got no flashes, and here's the black screen that uh, doesn't do anything with for a minute, and in a second, there we go. So the zero page is tested within the CPU itself, that's testing the, uh, the, the RAM that's on the uh, CPU. And there you can see it testing the screen RAM. So what will fail is obviously there's a you can see down here the time of day isn't making any sense at all because that comes off the CIAs and we're obviously haven't got those plugged in. Should pop back with the screen ram okay. Does the colour ram as well. So there you are, you can see that's up and running and it's literally just 
CPU, PLA, RAM and all the other logic, the addressing logic that you need. Obviously you need a working VIC. Um, I've seen complete black machines uh, where the 8701 there is dead. Uh, normally when that dies there you get no clock out of it whatsoever and then what you get is nothing on the screen at all. You turn it on and it looks like it's got a, a blown fuse because there's no power going to the VIC. Um, but then you can you can test that by having a look at the uh, board itself and you'll see there's no activity, no data, nothing at all because there's no clock going to the CPU. So, nice and quick. Quick little repair with the two uh, two dead RAM chips there. I am going to, as the uh, owner has asked me to, I am going to socket all of those, uh, redo all of those RAM for them and replace all of them. But there we go. Just a nice little quick video about the dead test and having to have a CPU going. Cheers, boys. Catch you soon.